Douglas Aircraft A4F Skyhawk II. A steady and true workhorse in use for 13 years with the U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels. In service with the squadron longer than any of the seven previous aircraft that have had the familiar blue and gold paint scheme, which is the trademark of the Blue Angels throughout the world. The Blue Angels, averaging nearly 80 air shows per year, in their mission of bringing naval aviation to the public have performed 1,003 air show demonstrations in the Skyhawk starting on the 19th of May, 1974 at Offutt Air Force Base in Omaha, Nebraska. Impressive maneuverability and good low altitude high speed characteristics of the single engine Delta Wing A4F have proven effective in the aerial demonstration role. This rugged and easy to maintain ground support aircraft developed in the early 1950s has set a record for longevity unequaled by any other aircraft. But now, as the Blue Angels approach the 21st century, it's time for a change. The Skyhawks are aging and production of the aircraft ended early in 1979. At a ceremony held at Naval Air Station Pensacola at the end of the 1986 show season, on November 8th, the Blue Angels performed their last air demonstration in the Skyhawks. Those present at this event included military and civilian dignitaries, ex-squadron members, as well as family and friends of the Blue Angels. As the Blues taxi back and bring their Skyhawks to the ramp with the same precision as displayed during any other demonstration, the crowd is treated to its first glimpse of a Hornet in the blue and gold of the Blue Angel number one. In the cockpit of the Hornet, approaching on the taxiway from the far right is Lieutenant Cliff Skelton, one of the newest members of the Blue Angel team and slated to be narrator for the Blues during the 1987 season. On signal, Commander Rude, flight leader and commanding officer of the Blue Angels D-Planes, descending the Skyhawk boarding ladder for the last time and greets his ground crew. Similarly, the other pilots have left their aircraft and have begun their last walk back in front of the Skyhawks. As the group of pilots proceeds, the atmosphere of excitement and anticipation is apparent. After a hearty greeting all around from Commander Rude, the six pilots begin the short walk over to the number one Hornet and Lieutenant Skelton. Some of the pilots would normally rotate out of the squadron at this time, after finishing their two-year tour with the Blues. But to facilitate the transition to the Hornet and maintain continuity, all pilots will stay with the squadron through the Hornet transition training period and the following demonstration season. The Blue Angels bid a fond farewell to the venerable Skyhawk and welcome the impressive Hornet as they begin a new era in precision flying. 